Hey everyone, Josh here, Solopreneur Grind, back with another YouTube video for you. And in this time, I'm doing another three lesson takeaway from one of my recent podcast guests. If you haven't heard of Steve Sims, I highly recommend you check him out. And I also, in very biased form, recommend you give our full podcast a listen. What I'm going to do here is just give you three of the top key takeaways I took from podcast episode number 35 of the Solopreneur Grind podcast. I'll have the link in the description below if you want to take a listen. Uh, but of course, feel free to listen to the top three tips first that I took from it and then decide for yourself if you want to dig in. Lesson number one that I took was to hire for your weaknesses. And I'm not going to go into detail in this video exactly what Steve does because it's pretty unique and it's pretty cool and it's pretty impressive. But Steve puts on these major events and a whole bunch of other experiences and things for clients. And what he learned pretty early on was that the best way to, to really grow and work efficiently and make more money was instead of trying to improve in his weaknesses or trying to figure out how to do the things he didn't like, he just hired people that were better than him at those things to do it. And that does two things. Number one, it makes work a lot more enjoyable for you because you're doing the things you love. Number two, it's buying you more time to do the things you're really good at. So if you're really good at sales and really bad at bookkeeping and you're able to outsource all of your bookkeeping, uh, not only will you probably wake up happier each morning, but you'll be able to spend even more time doing sales, which will probably make your bottom line, even though you're paying someone to do the bookkeeping, you're bringing in that much more sales and that means that the bottom line at the end of the month is going to be a lot better. And Steve talks exactly about how he did that and at what point in the podcast. Now, lesson number two, which is if you don't bring any value to a relationship, then you're a customer. And what Steve meant by this is that he, we were talking about friendships and business partners and, and just relationships with people and, and how he was trying to build his network of, of wealthier, more successful people. And, and the fact remains that if you're going to maintain some semblance of a relationship with someone, both parties have to bring some type of value. And the example that he gave is that obviously, like some of his very wealthy, successful business people, they help each other out, right? They keep each other company, whatever, whatever. But Steve also still has some friends from back home who are by no means or, or by the by the means that we were discussing, uh, discussing it, uh, like super rich or super successful. But he was still happy and loved keeping in touch with them, going out with them, because these were good people who kept him grounded, who he enjoyed spending time with. So you can bring value in many ways, right? You can be successful, you can have a business, you can have money, you can have really good experiences, or you can be an awesome, honest, genuine, helpful person without any money or any success or any experience, if you can provide that type of value to the other person. If you're not bringing anything to a relationship, then you're probably paying and, and you're a customer. And that was a really big and interesting takeaway from the interview. Lesson number three is to make the most of the cards that you're dealt. And Steve didn't necessarily say this outright, but we went through his backstory of how he got started. He was a blue collar guy from a blue collar family and made his way to Tokyo, started working at, as a doorman at a club and, and worked his way up and, and slowly got into other networks and bigger parties and started throwing parties. And what really stood out from the whole story is that no matter what cards he was dealt, no matter how tough his situation was, his tough upbringing, uh, losing a job, etc., etc., he looked at his environment and said, how can I make the most of this, right? And, and in many cases, it was how can I provide the right people with the right value? That's a, a really key takeaway from, for many reasons, especially in business and solopreneurship. Like it, it's never going to be a smooth ride. The question is, what do you do with it? And that's one of the big differentiators I've seen from the 45 plus successful solopreneurs that I've interviewed now is everybody goes through hard times, right? That's inevitable. It's like death and taxes. But what do you do with the environment that you're put in or, or the cards that you're dealt? And Steve, at every point along the story, sure, he had some, some tough times, some downsides, stuff like that. But he always looked for how he could get a little edge, how he could help people out, how he could put himself in a better situation. Again, these are the top three lessons I took from episode 35 of the Solopreneur Grind podcast that I had with Steve Sims. There will be a link to it in the description below. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you liked some of these lessons, I highly recommend you listen to the whole episode. It's only about, I think, 40, 35, 40 minutes. Uh, you could even listen on 1.5 to, uh, to get through it quicker. But ton of value. Steve goes through his backstory of how he got started, how he grew up. Super interesting. So I highly recommend it. As well, if you like this video, you want more of this stuff, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I don't know if the button's going to be here or there. It'd be awesome if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel because it helps a lot. Hope you took some value from it. I'll see you in the next video.